Good morning, everybody. We are making a one egg omelet with spinach and fresh grated Parmesan cheese. If you ever try it, it may become one of your favorite omelets. There's no measuring. Use as much spinach and as much cheese as you like. The sun is shining, it's a beautiful morning, and we are going outside to enjoy the day. Well, it's an exciting day in our house. We have a ripe lemon. I don't know why this one ripened before these very large ones, but it was about to fall off the tree, so I went ahead and pulled it. But it's much smaller, you can see. And the only thing I can think of is that it was on the back side and maybe it liked that area better. However, Meyer lemon trees are supposed to grow in bright sunlight, and this this tree gets a lot of sunlight. And I have new buds on the back side and look at all of the crop back here. So I am so excited about this because I try to plant things that are edible around the house. I have, you know, rosemary, things like that. A lot of herbs and I have my lemon tree because I'm just experimenting with it until I decide to plant maybe an orange or whatever, but I made sure I got a lemon tree that was a good size that I could pot and use as a decorative plant and also produce fruit. So I am so curious to know what the difference is between a Meyer lemon and a regular lemon that you would buy at the grocery. So let's cut into this little guy and see what's happening in there. I have brought out a lemon that I had bought at the grocery and I'm going to compare here those and we're going to see what the difference is. Oh yeah, before we get started, let me tell you what I'm wearing. Outfit of the day, it is a Lululemon Define Top. Now, you know I have these in several designs. This is a lavender and gray, I would say lavender and gray, with a tiny bit of off-white in it. It is camo. Now, I don't know where you would go to wear lavender and gray camo that you would be camouflaged, but I thought it was cute. And I am wearing black leggings. And the reason I'm telling you about this, and let me try to back up and show you, is because they have a pocket and I really am enjoying that pocket. I've never had a pair of leggings with the pocket and they are from Amazon. I am experimenting with Amazon leggings to see which ones I like as much as the ones I always buy at Lululemon. But so far these are great and I've worn them several times and washed them and they've held up. So I'm also wearing, and you probably can't see these, and you've seen them in the past, are on tennis shoes. Oh, and I'm wearing OPI Bunny Bunny Nail Polish. That is my go-to polish. And I'm going to look into some of the other white 
colors. I'm looking for one that's one step less white, less bright white. And so I may go to a ballerina slipper I've thought about, but I think it's too pink. But I'll let you know when I find what I'm looking for. So let's go and do some research on this lemon because I can't wait. So the first thing you'll notice is this is a lemon that I bought at the grocery. It is a sun-kissed lemon. And this is a Meyer lemon. Now this one can be much larger, but it's not. But we're gonna see what the difference is in this. I just, I don't see much on the outside except that it does have a less pitted skin to it and of course the shape. Meyer lemons are more round than this. So I'm gonna clip my microphone here so you can hear me. This breeze is getting breezier and I need to have my hands free. So let's cut into this lemon. This is the one I bought at the grocery. Now let's see. It's just your plain old lemon just like that with sections and seeds and the pith which is the white part and the rind. Now I want to cut into this one. Now there's a Meyer. I can already smell the difference. I'm going to cut another slice of this. And you can see it has seeds all the way through it. Now, I don't know if I bought a seedless Meyer or this is just an immature lemon, but mine does not have seeds that I can see. But I can tell you that it smells so much sweeter than this Sunkiss. This smells tart, this smells sweet. I know it's a hybrid lemon. The Meyer lemon was developed to be sweeter and more edible. I'm gonna, let's try this. Okay. Oh, that gives my, that makes my glands hurt. Ah, this is the sun kissed and it is much more tart. And this is much sweeter. Oh, a bird sitting right on top of the palm. So if you're gonna make a dish that requires lemon, I think the Meyer would be better. I suggest if you are going <laughs> birds don't like me being out here. So I suggest if you're going to cook with lemon, the Meyer might be what you're looking for because you're going to have the taste of lemon without the tartness. Now if you're looking for that really tart flavor, believe me, you're going to get it with a regular old lemon. But I think I prefer the Meyer lemon. And my goodness, I can't get the tartness out of my taste buds. So that's our little test. I was just curious. I knew these were developed to be sweeter. They're a hybrid. They've been around for, I think about 20 years. And um, they are perfect as ornamental trees around your patio or pool area. Love the look of it. I love watching them grow. I love watching anything grow. And if you like planting, then plant a lemon tree first like I did because I thought, well, I'll use more lemons than anything else. Next is gonna be an orange tree. I'm gonna try that. No, maybe a lime because I do use a lot of lime. So I may try a lime tree next, then the orange. When we first moved to this house, we had orange trees in our yard but they got a fungus and didn't do well so I'm trying to replace those trees and it, once these start flourishing which I hope I can keep them alive then um, I will try to plant an avocado tree I have a friend who had 
an avocado tree and she had to get rid of it because it started producing so many avocados she couldn't even give them all away and so she would be gone for several months at a time when she'd come back there were avocados everywhere and as much as she wanted to get rid of them she couldn't get rid of all of them so I but I was always jealous of the fact that she had avocados anytime she wanted to now I have lemons anytime I want them so I think this is a cute little experiment couldn't wait for that one lemon to ripen and it did so now I've got to start coming up with lemon recipes I hope you had a fabulous day yesterday. I have some crazy hair going here. I have been out looking for gallons of water. A water main broke and we have a boil water notice. So we have, it's been a while now that we have not been able to use our water. So I've been out looking for it and it's all sold out. I can buy the smaller bottles but I'm looking for the gallons and so I'm still on my trek for that but um, this is a different day than yesterday. Yesterday was a, a much nicer day. It was breezier and we had water. <laughs> we don't have water now. So I hope you have a fabulous week and I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are not a subscriber, please tap the subscribe button. And don't forget, you can always follow me on Instagram. Bye.